What's up, everyone? It's Shuffle, and today we're going to show off Tenebris Terra Incognita. This is a game that I put about a week into a couple weeks ago, and I really enjoyed it. It's a turn-based game, similar to Darkest Dungeon in some ways, in terms of like just you know the walking and the pacing and stuff. The setting and the theme are like a mashup of Aliens 2. If you're alive in the 1940s, I'm kidding, the 1990s. And then also, actually, was it the 80s? I think it was the 80s. Anyway, Aliens 2, or just Aliens, not Aliens 2, but anyway. And Starship Troopers. Not as much propaganda as Starship Troopers, but you kill bugs in space. The game's really fun, and so we're going to show it off. But we're not going to start a new game. I would rather show this so I can... Uh, show everything that you might be experiencing so this is a level that we're in apparently i don't remember how far in we are but yeah so you get your little squad of space dudes you got your assault guy you got a tech dude you got a medic and a sniper the snipers are pretty good i found and what's interesting, too, is you can interact with the environment like a point and click, you know, and find stuff, which is not, it's not common in these types of games, you know, like they don't usually hide stuff in the background. That's kind of what, one of the things that sets us apart. We're going to spam loot the bodies. Sometimes you get two things off them. But you, you see what I'm talking about, right? Look, oh, and they're bugs. They're coming. And they're all scary. All right. So sniper, like I said, pretty good because this active skill, the sniper shot does a lot of damage. Also got the line shot. You can see the turn bar, very nice. And you can't really see that bug under me. Let me move over here. There we go. All right. So this is like a support bug. These are attack bugs. This one, I can't remember if it's an attacker or a defender. I think it might be the defender one. But yeah, yeah, it's a protector. Okay, it's up there. So you can always look and see what they do. All right. The normal turn-based game fundamentals apply. Action economy, very important. So we're just going to make sure that we can shoot and clean up as much as we can. Limit the enemy turns. All right. Hit the dude in the back. I forgot how good the music was. That sound a little bit. Do some AoE with my grenade. Frag out. Everyone's burning. Alright. Let's see. Don't need to repair armor yet. Panacea can block some effects. We don't have any effects yet, but that might be helpful. On enemies apply acid. Okay. And then droning. Alright, we're going to throw this acid at the goliath because it's going to take a minute to get through that armor so put some acid down shred some per turn the way effects and like damage over time work is kind of a like a token system for a board game where you have like three stacks of something you get hit by it three times essentially it's so like three stacks of poison you take three poison damage and then the stack drops by one, and then you take two, and then one, so it's like a three becomes six numbers, but yeah. And so because of that, you can do some really proactive stuff, like the Panacea token lets you remove negative effects, but it sits on the person first or after, and you know trades one to one, so if they do get hit by something, then you remove it. That's pretty nice. Anyway. This is a Healy Medic, I believe. I have like a an actual attack medic, and it's pretty funny, but this is not that one. All right, looking at this, the support goes next. So I think we want to try and snipe this. How much damage? Eight to 15, surely. Actually goes after this. I'm not sure if it's gonna heal that or not. The supports are pretty dangerous because they really keep people alive, you know? Actually, I can show you what I mean right now. All right, so let's do some Panacea. Goodbye, bleed. Yes, five. And then the end of her next turn, it should just wipe it out and be down to like three or two. 
There's the regen. These monsters are loud AF. Goliath likes to be knocking people down all the time. This one's taking half damage now, so we gotta switch targets. This is my stab guy. Can't remember. Can I see his stats? Can't. Alright. No, it's not. This is a new guy. Okay. Oh yeah. You can make these commandos either like rifle focused or sword focused, which is pretty cool, or knife or whatever that is. But this guy's level one, so he has nothing. Bop, 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 bop. Take the line shot now, hit the entire row. And then there's combat concentration, which I don't know if we have enough stuff to activate that yet. So you see this here? If you activate a combo, some moves say activate combo, then the whole team like teams up on that enemy, which is really helpful. And later on builds are really good to have that. Restores health. This sets up the combo, but I don't know if I have a trigger, so I don't know if I want to do it. What we can do is hit this dude with poison. So while the armor's coming down, the poison's gonna work on him too. The bugs give a lot of buffs to each other during the fight. So these little bubbles, these pheromones will show me. So whatever bugs are on the field, they're giving each other pheromones the whole time. So they're always buffing each other. And it seems like something inconsequential, but it can stack up pretty fast and be dangerous. Reducing initiative, this yellow bar, very important. This isn't like, until your next turn, it's not like that kind of speed. It's when that gets maxed out, you get a double turn. And that can get really dangerous because when you're fighting enemies like bosses and they start getting double turns, it really hurts. So being able to lower the initiative, even by small amounts is always good. Let's see. A shot that deals some damage. These are targeting on the enemy. Reduce the dodge and speed. I don't know if that matters. I don't really have a, an issue hitting these right now. And kill support. And work on this too. Split, split some damage. Yeah, see this one's got, it's taking half damage from the Goliath and then it's like healing every turn. So it's just not even worth touching right now. All right, and then, like don't worry too much about these little effects that you see. A lot of them are just token counters that repair armor, heal life, shred armor, remove poison, deal damage. And it that's all they're doing. And it would take quite a bit of time to like go through and read every single one of them. But if you haven't noticed by now, which I probably should have said at first, is the gray bar is your armor. So you always take this damage before HP damage, but stuff like damage over time, such as poison, can get through it and damage you first. So be careful. Usually better to have HP healing instead of armor healing. Like this uh, engineer that we're looking at right now, he can heal armor most of the time. But both are good. Let's see. Why is droning to self? Droning gives them like better uh, random chance because this guy's really random in terms of like applying all the effects. Shoot their arms off. Yeah, so he keeps healing that one. It shocked me. It didn't knock me over, though. That's good. Shoot again. Oh, there's the double turn. We had initiative maxed out. Now you get to see what that looks like. And then we're just going to do as much damage as we can and try and blitz this. We're looking okay. I think you heal the full between fights, too, which is very nice. I mean, it's just in case though. When you get the panacea too. So watch these, all these are gonna drop off right here. Do they have anything that like triggers combo? Probably not yet. These guys are a uh, low level. Trying to level up some newbies. Look, all the effects are gone. And now I have an knockdown. All right, that one died, good. Bop, 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 bop. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Behold! A loot. I feel like this is the end, but let's see. The maps do have other stuff besides just, you know, clickables for corpses. There are 
treasure chests. And you got your whole thing of inventory here. So as they go on, you can keep leveling your stuff. I didn't realize this guy was level four. Hmm. How's this? A little bit better. We'll put on the level four. What about the three? Not the three, the four. Level four gun. 10 to 17, it's way weaker. Okay. There's some stats that you can pick up, like uh, perception and all that. And just know that statistics influence abilities and outcomes and such. But yeah. Like I said, a little too much to dive into heavily. But otherwise, you can see their, uh, their attacks, their skills, what they're just capable of doing. The welding is interesting. Like, these are your things that you pick up off your talent tree. You can get to level 11 and then pick new subclasses, I assume. I actually haven't gotten to 11 yet. I've been playing on very hard or whatever it is, so it's been kind of a struggle. But yeah, you might have people are like eight right now. And then the lock chest was bugged last time I played. Let's see if it works this time. Okay. The old uh, XCOM unlock. Just sitting there trolling you. Oh, did I get it? Nope. Oh, man. We got an actual mini boss. This was uh, in the tutorial. You fight this thing and you have to win. And it's kind of an asshole. But maybe we're strong enough now. So it's immune to all control effects except provocation, which is taunting. Now, it's got a ton of armor. We could try and zerg it down. No pun intended, or pun, not even pun, just zerg, you know, bugs, space bugs. <sighs> so we're going to kill this thing, and then we're going to kill that thing. Like I said, the opening sniper shot, very good. Very good. <sighs> Start working on this, I guess. It's a bit tough, because, like, let me turn it down a little bit. Dude, it's kind of loud. Yeah, the pheromones. What's he get off him? Okay, 20% times two. So it's got a ton of speed now. Yeah, I don't think the, this thing is going to be as hard as it was the first time, because the first time, you know, you had base gear, no, no skills or anything. So no talents. And it was very dangerous. Thankfully, we're not dealing with that anymore. Combustion. Combustion. Is it just fire damage? Yeah. But the other thing, too, is if you stack some things high enough, like the burn, if you stack it up to nine, then it turns into... Wait, no, it says it evolves into burn. Oh, combustion becomes burn at nine. There you go. Yeah, we're just going to keep using the sword to slap his initiative down. Also, I think if we bleed him, he will take, like... HP damage, but it's got four stacks of that regen right now. Yeah, okay, I, I think we're okay. Let's see. Could go with the poison. Uh, I'll wait till this comes off, because it's not going to get it back. Just heal all the negatives. And then, actually, we'll slow its speed down too. Laser targeting, perfect. Now, flies droning to self. I need to heal my armor per turn. But this is when it like swaps to the other dude. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it can double attack without actually getting the double turn, which is really scary. Yeah, you see, this thing can gank someone really quick. So I thought we were going to be more okay, but it's still dangerous. Spend this now. At 10 stacks of shock, you get stunned, I believe. So we're trying not to have that happen. How much damage is this? 12 to 8 or 20. This is 6 to 14. But it reduces initiative. Although I'm pretty sure it's still just going to get the extra turn here. It's not going to matter. Although we knocked 10 off of it. Initiative by 5. I think it's by 10. Like, each one's 2. Let's see. It is. Okay, you can watch it go down up here. All right, more acid. This should be the last of its armor. Get to see if the... Actually, it won't matter, huh? 
say we'll get to see if the bleed goes through. Maybe it does. That'll attack. Shock, fear, yikes. Yeah, okay. So damage over time goes through armor, which makes it very good. Fear, weakness, reduced speed. Okay. Stacking up dub poison. Actually, with the medic, you have to hit their HP directly. So no armor. And then you get the poison. Yep, still lethal. Like I said, we got way more in terms of capabilities now, so should be okay. Knocking off his arm. We've successfully kept it from double turning because we keep hitting the initiative, which is really good. Yeah, okay. And Rage is pissed off. And now it's dead. Take it home. This wasn't his day. Got all this random, like, this action movie commentary. Bum, bum, bum. End of the mission. Got some supplies. Ooh, lots of stuff. Alright. Complete mission. Get to see the healing done, the damage done. Pretty even damage across the board, all things considered. Our two sports did okay. Our damage dealers showed up. Armor repaired. Killed every enemy, got all the biomaterials apparently, and get some points for this. Now we can show off the base. We started with all the, the fighting. Okay, so when I played, it was different before, because I think it was pre-release, so I'm not, not entirely sure what I can and can't say, so I'll just stop there in terms of trying to explain what's in front of me, but this is the map. You explore it over time, you find missions on it and stuff. And what's really cool too is when you start doing these, you can actually level them down and redo stuff. So if you need to level a new squad, you can always go back, which is really nice. What's this? Captain Phoenix. Get some stuff, nice. All right, command center. Good synth wave. Yeah, so this stuff here, the purple points you're getting, which, social rating. So you spend these to uh, upgrade the ship a bit. So all of your facilities that you want to upgrade, you can get more hospital beds, um, gene stimulation. I haven't messed with too much, but you can, you know, pretty much inject your units, and make them stronger, more stimulants, right? Yeah, or stim yeah, stimulators, so. As I was saying before, you can see their levels and stuff here. You can see how much XP they need. This is their max HP. But this percentage here, this is fatigue. And so the more fatigue they are, the worse they start performing on missions. So you have to rest them in between. And you do that with the med bay. But yeah, so far, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if there's more than five classes, but I've only seen five so far. And then the arsenal. You know, same thing, you can spend your purple points to make the shops better. And then Cryo Center, this is where you recruit people. So you can level this up to uh, get more. And then there's the Exchanger, if you have too much, you know, of red, which is uh, just money, I believe. You can swap it for something else of your choice, which is really helpful. Alright, Med Bay. Yeah, Gene Stim. Okay, yeah. blocks fatigue accumulation and XP during a mission. So you can throw people in into this and get stuff. The infirmary, if you need to heal stress, you can put them in like like that, you know. Actually, I want to level them up too. Got one point. Where can we go? Is it going left side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, talents all do cool stuff. Like, it'll make some of your passive stuff better. Everyone, I think, gets special training where they get different bonuses depending on the class that's in the team with them. You just level up and go down. Bestiary. I haven't seen too many. Forgot about this guy. 
Oh, this is what I was thinking of. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Oh, this is the damage dealer. I think he, like, shoots the whole team. It's something nasty. Alright. The shop. Not a lot of stuff in the shop right now, but yeah, you can pay money here. And I thought you could reroll it. Oh no, okay. I have it so I can only see what's used on that character. That's more like it. Yeah. So, random stuff. Make sure you find what's good for your characters. And then finally, you can hire new recruits. So we got space for a few more. We can also refresh down here. I have one of the upgrades where I can randomly get a level five person in here. And then hibernation, if you want to get rid of people, you can, you put them in here and you kick them. All right, let's see. Level five, boom. So I could hire him for a uh, 300 bio material if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, that is the game, action packed. It's really just kind of like, you know, you do your prep work and then when you pick a level, it's just fight, loot, fight, loot, fight, loot, which is really fun. You enjoy that kind of gameplay loop and it's a really cool game. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the game, even if you don't play it. And I'll see you next time.